Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about four guitar products that have been released quite some time ago and are still worth buying in 2023. You guys know guitar companies for some reason feel obliged to release new products or new updates every single year. So it would be very easy to forget these four products that we're going to look at simply because there's a new version or there's a new product out that in theory replaces them, although they are still in production. I think it's definitely worthwhile just remembering some of these products that are incredible value for money and actually may sound slightly better or just as good as the new ones. So let's do it. First up, live from my pedal board, you guys will recognize this, the Boss GT1. This is an incredible unit. I just unplugged this to show you guys because I was using it. I have, as I said, tried many, many high-end modelers, Kemper, Axe FX, Helix, all of them. You know, the one that I kept is this one. <laughs> At least for my use, everything is personal, so don't hate me in the comments. But at least for my use, this is what I need. This is what I want. Put that Soldano amp on here. Put that overdrive in front of it, and it will get a throaty amp sound that I bet all of those recent modelers that have tried to imitate the Soldano sound can get. It is incredibly good for that classic rock distortion. I absolutely adore this. You have the nice foot pedals, very simple to use. I just need simple and an expression pedal. So you don't need to add a wah or anything. Perfect. This retail still now, you can get it on Amazon. It's brand new, functional, easy. You can get it around 130 bucks, I think. This is a perfect piece of gear that the new ones simply can't match. Number two. On the list is another amp and this time slightly different you will have seen my videos reviewing it somewhere around the screen but this is the orange micro dark an old amp this has been out i think for at least six seven years very very inexpensive amp you can get it very inexpensive go in the used market they are fantastic you can get them for no money at all you have a valve preamp you have a solid state power amp 20 watt it sounds absolutely killer it's a well-constructed reliable sturdy little amp that you can bring anywhere and it really set the way for the compact amp phase that we're possibly going through now plug it into a 4x12 and that thing will tear down the house <laughs> Really, all those other very expensive amps need to take a quick look at the Orange Micro Series, whether it's Dark or Terra, because they really are incredible value for money. So don't forget about them. Number three on the list, as we've talked about a amp modeler, as we've talked about a tube amp, we need an amp sim. And the amp sim for me is the Waves Audio PRS guitar amps. These for me are incredible value. Right now, head over to the Waves Audio website and you can get them for 29 bucks. You get three amps in it. You get the Archon, you get the Sierra V9 and you get, what's the third one? Hang on a sec. God, I need to eat more fish. Oh yeah, the Dallas, that's it. It's the clean one, that's why I don't play it. Very inexpensive, but they cover a lot of ground. Look, these have been constructed with the help of Mr. PRS, they are very, very good sounding. They have very good distortion. They have all you need, a, ca a cab simulation, or if you want to load your own IRs, they are really great value for money. You can just put them in any doll. Really simple to use. Everything is on the one page. Very, very nice. Again, very hard to beat in terms of the actual sound. If you're going for that classic rock, blues, even heavier sounds, these are really hard to beat. 
because they are very good for 29 bucks. Look, I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> We need something to plug in, right? We have the amps we need to plug in for us to be able to record on our computer. Yes, we are talking about the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 3rd Gen. Again, guys, you can still buy these brand new. They're on Amazon. They're everywhere. A lot of people kind of look down on them. But you know what? They are reliable. I've had one for 10 years. They sound great. I bet you anything you want. That if you record with that and record with an audio interface that costs 10 times as much, the general public will not know the difference because it does sound good. You have two inputs for either guitar or mics, so it's the right amount for most people recording at home. You have a quality preamp in it, and it's just simple. Plug and play. You put it in your computer. No fluffing about with extra software, extra stuff. It just hits the spot where it's needed. It's very inexpensive and I think it's still very hard to beat. So if you are starting out in the home recording area, yes, there's lots of options, lots of options. IK Multimedia, etc. They all have these beginner ones. But you know what? This one sounds just as good and is cheaper. So overall, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I just wanted to bring the attention back to these four tried and tested products that, for whatever reason, seem to be kind of forgotten by the media but are still in production and as always there's a reason to things why after all these years are they still in production well they're still in production because they're really good and because people love them and still buy them so if you haven't tried them out i'll put all the links in the description but stay tuned because next episode we will look at four affordable guitars that Similarly, people may have forgotten about. So thank you as usual for watching. It really means a lot to me. And more importantly, be kind to each other and rock out.